I was walking home the other day from the library and I decided to stop by the supermarket so I could buy some ice cream. I was in the express lane behind two other ladies and in front of this one guy that had a Led Zeppelin t-shirt. The lady in the very front had 12 items, but it was only a 10 item or less express lane. The lady who was behind her, who was also the lady that was in front of me, started yelling at her, like really yelling at her for having 12 items in a 10 item or less express lane. Me and Led Zeppelin guy were like, cool, a free show. I saw this really cool stage magician a few weeks ago. He was very interesting and had a very unique technique. On one side of the stage magician spectrum, you have really good tricks with zero magician's patter. No talking, only tricks. This guy was the opposite. These stories this guy is telling is much more important than the tricks so much that you don't even notice these tricks. One of the coolest concepts from physics is the wave-particle duality idea. Sometimes matter behaves like particles, other times it behaves like waves. Like the famous dual-split experiment from the early days of quantum mechanics. They would send one solitary photon through one of two slits, and they could detect this photon each time that it went through one of the two slits. So they would know exactly whether it went through one slit over here or the other slit over here. But at the end of the experiment, after a whole bunch of single solitary photons went through either of two splits, they ended up looking like a wave interference pattern, which suggests that the particles were interfering with themselves or the future particles were interfering with their past selves. My friend works for this marketing company. They are working on a prototype for an idea implantation system. It's based on reverse triangulation. They have three hidden devices, each equidistant from the target. Ideally, the target will be inside of an equilateral triangle made up by these three neural wave generators. The first neural wave generator will calibrate and resonate with his existing thought structures. The second one receives the thought configuration from the first one, and it sends an absolutely opposite wave from the first one. So these two waveforms will cancel out inside of your brain, making your brain momentarily empty of all ideas and thoughts. It turns out there's about a four second window in the human brain before you pass out due to lack of thoughts in your brain. And in that four second window, they blast his brain with a third neural transmitter, filling his ideas with marketing messages. Buy this product. Buy all of our products. Do what we tell you. Become obedient to our messages. Send your money to us. Send all your money to us. Then the target will forget this. The target will develop amnesia. The target will continue like nothing happened. The only explanation is that on a very fundamental level, particles like photons have some kind of self-awareness. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to interfere with themselves. Kind of like subatomic self-sabotage. This guy started doing tricks, and then he starts telling stories. And everybody focuses on these stories and doesn't pay attention to the tricks hidden beneath the stories. It was kind of like a mental sleight of hand, or more like a sleight of brain. And when the magician is done doing the tricks, everybody forgets everything. After about five minutes, me and Led Zeppelin guy realized our error. We got in the wrong line. Because the lady in front of me was yelling at 12 item lady for like 20 minutes. By the time the security came and stopped the unexpected interference, my ice cream had melted. I still felt obligated to pay for this. But when I went outside, I just threw it in the trash. I had an idea to buy some ice cream, but then my idea collapsed on itself before I could eat it. It still cost me. I don't know what happened to Led Zeppelin guy.